Do you know the decision making in UFC? I never thought about it. It's rare that you really disagree with a decision. Yeah. It's very rare. In boxing, you would see, I've seen some fights that were so bad where a, a guy was pummeled for whatever number of rounds. Now, boxing was better when they had 15 rounds, to be honest with you, you know, those last three uh -huh. rounds. But that's easy for me to say. I don't have to go in there and you know, <laughs> do that. But it was better. Those yeah. three rounds, sometimes they call them the, the real, this was a real champion rounds, yeah. but they changed it to 12. I actually think that hurt boxing. I, well, why did they do that? To make it safer? Yeah. Safer. Yeah. And they said a lot of damage was done in those last three rounds. But, but boxing was better. I mean, if they brought back 15 round championship fights, I think it would be, you know, helpful to boxing. But they're, must be a safety reason they did it. I don't know what the reason was, but I think it was safety. Yeah, I think guys were taking damage. And do you remember the fight, Meldrick Taylor against Julio Cesar Chavez? Chavez oh. was undefeated. And I think it was Richard Steele stopped it with maybe 10 seconds left yeah, in the yeah, final yeah, round yeah, and yeah, gave it to was. Chavez. Yeah. And maybe that was just a coincidence, but you look at that, you're like, it's kind of hard to get back on board no, with boxing. It's, it takes your heart out. I mean, it does, it does that. But that's life, right? Yeah. Life can be that. You know, I look at like UFC or, or, or boxing or any of these things, even sports generally. It's sort of a microcosm of life, but it's quicker.